watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. Well, howdy everybody from Wichita Falls, Texas, and welcome to the show. You know, the weather today is pretty bad. But if the weatherman's right, and tomorrow it clears up, we're going to hop in that bad boy right there with a guy that they call the Air Wolf. And we're going to put a hurt on some hogs and coyotes. Almost every hunter has a bucket list, and on my bucket list, one of the biggest hunts that I want to go on is a helicopter hog hunt. And you know, there's quite a few people that wind up doing that in the state of Texas, but there's only one guy that I use, and his name is Gary Olson. They call him the Airwolf. My name is Gary Olson, I'm with Airwolf Helicopters, and today we're going to be taking Keith Warren up in our Bell Jet Ranger to do depredation for feral pigs and coyotes out on the ranch here. We're going to have some fun today, everybody. This is a, it's gonna be a lot of fun. That is the air wolf, not the werewolf, but the air wolf, he's right behind me. And we are going to go out and uh, we're gonna have some fun helping the landowners out here with a little bit of problem. I wanna tell you about the tools that we're gonna be using. These are specialized tools to do this job. And this is a Daniel Defense. Daniel Defense has sent these rifles to us and this particular one that they sent is a DDM-4. This is a lightweight sucker. I mean, the caliber, it's a it's a 5.56 five, or a 223 caliber. And it's brand new, so what we're gonna do is we gotta do a little bit of stuff to it. We have mounted a sight mark red dot sight on top of it. It allows us to be able to actually look and see what's going on around the area, of course, and then pick out our target. But what we want to do, we're going to put a suppressor on it. But before we put the suppressor on it, we've got to uh, make sure if you've ever shot anything with a suppressor before, you, the issue that you've got with suppressed equipment, if you don't lubricate the threads before putting the suppressor on, if you shoot a lot, the odds are you're going to have a very big issue taking it off. So I encourage you to find some good gun grease, put it on the threads, and then uh, apply your suppressor to it because otherwise when you wind up getting done with your suppressor you're not going to be able to get it off very easily so we want to do that daniel defense uh, suppressor right there from our friends over at silencer shop so we got that on there and it's still just better light as it can be and then of course because it's brand new we're going to take clp and the lucas clp brand is what i use and we're going to just spray it down here in the bolt carrier group lubricate things up a bit oh yeah more better and now what we're gonna do take a few shots sight the thing in and get that helicopter in the air and get started all right this is the first shot we got to get her on paper see what happens let's go see where it hit Oh yeah, baby, that's right out of the box too. Look at that, that is one sweet shooting gun. This country that we're gonna be flying is short mesquite brush primarily, and it's, uh, it's February, which is a time of year you don't want the leaves on. The reason why, so you can see down the brush, the shots are gonna be about 100 feet off the ground, and that gun's shooting perfect right out of the box. I want to talk to you about the sight system that we use on rifles doing this. It's a holographic sight is what it is. We use by sight mark. And the reason why we choose that is because you've got to have real good peripheral vision when you're up there. I mean, it's really important to know where everything is. Of course, you don't want to shoot up because you're going to hit the prop. You don't want to shoot too far down because you're going to hit the bottom of the, the little strut deal on the helicopter. And so you've got to be really, really careful. And so with that sight, you have real good target acquisition with this kind of sight. And that's the reason why when you see hog eradication hunts like this, you never see them with a scoped rifle. It's always with a holographic sight or either open sights. The reason why? You want good peripheral vision. My name's Todd and I'm a local landowner. Gary's been flying our property for the last two years. We're in the ranching industry and we have a huge problem with wild hogs in this area. You know, they have a tendency to contaminate our water resources for our cattle. You can't put out any kind of cell feeders because of Hogs come in there, run the cattle off, and they'll eat up all the feed. Before you know it, you're, you know, you're suffering in your, with your business. As a rancher, Gary's done an outstanding job of 
cutting down the population of wild hogs. I guess I've known Gary probably about 10 years. You know, he's a farmer from up in Minnesota. He's a deer farmer, to be specific. And uh, he's very passionate about the deer farming industry as well as I am. And uh, the way this hunt came about, we wound up, we started talking about it at a deer convention. I said, Gary, you know what? Everybody in the industry is talking about you as being the air wolf. And I want to find out what it's all about. We're just west today of Wichita Falls, Texas, and we're going to see a lot of different assortment of land. Uh, we're going to go from badlands to wheatland to low mesquite brush land pastures and some, also some high timber down by the, by the creeks and the little rivers down here. Today we'll be seeing a lot of assortment of uh, animals and wildlife. We'll be seeing cattle, turkeys, deer, feral pigs, maybe a few bobcats and coyotes. We use a Bell Jet Rangers for this, uh, for the depredation. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit bigger helicopter than uh, a lot of the smaller competitor helicopters. And it is turbine powered, uh, we have about 200 more horsepower. It actually carries three people in the back, so there's pretty good, pretty good room in the back. People from all walks of life would like to do this aerial hog eradication with the airwolf. Whether you're a plumber, a doctor, a lawyer, it doesn't matter. Blue collar, white collar, a housewife. You think housewife? Yeah. Women love this too. Who wouldn't love this? We've, we get different, different people every year coming in and it's really interesting to see how everybody has a little different shooting abilities and uh, there's a lot of compensation involved on, on shooting out of a helicopter. It's more of a challenge than people realize. We, we provide the guns and the ammo here and a lot of it's because it's a lot of our clients fly in uh, to, to the major airports and today with the way it is at airports it just gets to be a hassle taking guns and ammo but t today Keith brought his own gun and it is sure sweet. So I'm really looking forward to getting Keith Warren up in the helicopter and seeing how good a shot he really is. I hop in the back seat, the first thing I do, I look down on the floor and there's a tub of over a thousand rounds of ammunition just waiting to be shot. The weather couldn't be any better. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. A little bit chilly with the doors off on the helicopter, but when the sun comes out, it's perfect. I and mean, all of a sudden, he goes out, we break across this field. I mean, it's a wheat field that's open as far as from here to Dallas. I mean, it's like, holy smokes, and these pigs are going, here you go, little piggy. And here you go, little piggy. I mean, I'm talking to the cameraman. He says, shoot that one. Okay. Shoot that one. Okay. Shoot, that was okay, and it just got to be really okay that time. Our job is to kill coyotes and feral pigs, and very, very seldom we do pick them up. And the reason for it is they're scattered all over the landscape. I mean, we could be 12 miles across on most of these ranches here. I don't believe anything goes to waste in the wild. If you really think about it as an outdoorsman, have you ever seen anything wasted? I mean, you look at this hog skull, for example. This was a pickup out in the field. Was this wasted? I don't think so. The birds and the coyotes and the bugs, everything else ate it to leave it the way it is now. So the way I look at it, nothing gets wasted in the field. We have a very good mutual relationship with the ranchers we work with, especially these young kids down here trying to make a living on this pretty marginal land. And the coyotes actually killing calves out here. It's, it's a huge economic impact to these guys. And you know, we're coming back every year to work with them and they're happy we're here and you know, to have us down and we're happy to be here. I'm Gary Olson, they call me the Airwolf, and we're watching The High Road with Keith Warren. The thing that I really enjoy about doing this aerial hog eradication is that uh, it's a lot of action. I mean, who couldn't like this? This is the kind of thing that, uh, I mean, your blood gets flowing. You know, I mean, it tests your skill. It, it, at first, when you get up in the helicopter, I mean, I gotta admit, you know, you're kind of a little bit uneasy, but all of a sudden you get up in there, things calm down, and when you start seeing pigs, and I'm talking about the number of pigs that you're gonna see when you go with the airwolf. You completely forget about any fears that you have whatsoever, and now you're focused on those pigs. When you get up there, you think that you, as a shooter, that it's all about you, but it's not, it's a team. I mean, you, especially when we throw in the component of having a cameraman, uh, it's a team. What I mean by that is because Gary, of course, he's gonna be the quarterback. He's gonna be calling the shots. 
but you've got to tell him where you're open or, or where the animal is. Okay, you got one at nine o'clock. Okay, he's going right. Okay, uh, uh, he's a hundred yards at two o'clock. Uh, coming up on you, Keith. I'm taking him off. He's going to be on your side. You've got to have great communication as a team, and you've got to be able to depend upon your team member to do their job. And so, of course, me, I mean, I'm dependent upon Gary to do his job. Every time I look up there, I mean, Gary's like he's got four or five different eyes. I mean, he's got, he looks down there, you can see the hog, you can see the coyote, he's got his eyes on the instruments and his hands are always busy and stuff, but this guy is a machine. That's why they call him the Airwolf. Flying in a helicopter, doing uh, shooting is a very much a team event. Uh, we're constantly talking to each other. I have to know where the animals are. Uh, if I see something, I have to pass it back to them. And a lot of it's strategy as far as moving the animals away from taller timber to short timber, or even if we get along near a wooded area, we can even push them out into a, you know, his wheat field. If you're worried about the air wolf being safe, let me tell you something, this guy is phenomenal. He's so agile in that helicopter. Uh, it's just incredible. It's like you're a bird of prey with a rifle in your hand. He puts you right over the target and says, do it. So of course, every single time I pull the trigger, I, I want him to go down, bam, like a two foot putt. I want him to go down like a sack of corn. You know, I want him to roll. And many times they do, but many times they don't. So I mean, this is chaos when you're up there. You hit one, you don't make a good shot, but you know he's gonna die. We surf around and finish him off. Lights out. I want to talk about the rifle that I'm shooting. You know, on Gary's trips, Gary provides rifles, but on this hunt, uh, I wound up bringing a Daniel Defense M4V7 lightweight. The thing that I found about the DD4 M7 is the fact that uh, it doesn't fatigue you as bad. So far, the M4V7, this lightweight booger, is wonderful. No complaints here, best ever. We've taken this particular rifle and put Timber Creek on it, which even lightened it up even more. And so we went and picked up a Daniel Defense Suppressor for this little rifle. I'm telling you what, it is the sweetest package. You know, you would think that shooting a suppressed rifle up in a helicopter wouldn't make a big difference, but it does. And one of the reasons I think a suppressor even out of the helicopter would be a good idea, it, uh, it doesn't affect us as much in the helicopter with our headsets. When you're getting up 30, 40 feet in the air, the sound carries so much on those AR-15s. Yeah, the suppressor hopefully will tone it down and not probably get as much complaints from neighbors or even to get near a village or some housing developments. I can tell you right now, uh, you know, when we show nothing but the kill shots, it makes it look real easy. It's not easy to hit these guys. And we do not kill everyone that we shoot at, nor that we see. I want you to know that. And so, uh, you know, while you're getting pretty good on the hogs, I mean, the hogs run pretty fast and they're through the brush and they're hard to hit. But when it comes to the coyotes, it's a completely different ball game. Those suckers don't run in a straight line. They cut and move and they zigzag back and forth, I mean, through that brush. And I'm telling you what, a coyote out of a helicopter is a dang hard target to hit. But when you knock one over, there's not a better feeling in the world for me. I'm a deer lover and I hate coyotes. You know, occasionally you'll wind up coming up and there's a bunch of little babies running along. And I mean, these babies, I mean, they're gonna be totally fine without their mama until the airwolf shows up, of course. And so they're running along, I mean, like a whole covey of them. Hey, they're getting it. And all of a sudden Gary says, flock shoot, just shoot right in the middle of them. Okay. And then go to rapid fire. Okay. And then all of a sudden they start breaking up. And Gary, the airwolf goes around, he banks over there. It's a boom, we smoke another one. Where'd they go? And over there, boom, and another one. Pretty soon, 
they're all gone. So looking back uh, so far, I, I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, because when you start doing this, you got to admit, what's your favorite kill shot that you get? Every one that I shoot is my favorite shot, but when they go down like a two-foot putt, that's when I really like it. Most of the customers that go up with the Airwolf obviously go up to eradicate hogs and take care of the coyotes. But that's not the only kind of service that Gary provides. Well, we run into really a lot of different experiences down here and we're here. And uh, one, one of the young lads that we work with pretty closely, uh, he actually did his proposal in our helicopter and had it written out on a huge tarp on a wheat field. And we picked up his uh, coming fiance and we took her out. and. Uh, she kind of got surprised that she was going to go for a helicopter ride and actually got and proposed to in the helicopter. So I had a chance to sit down with Gary in his trailer and, and ask him uh, something. And something he told me, because he had been doing this now seven years, and I mean, there have been thousands of hogs die because of the Airwolf services. And so I asked him a question, and I couldn't believe what his response was. In this seven years, I've, uh, I've personally never shot a pig. Uh, I've seen a lot of them shot, but uh, my first duties as, as, hell, as a pilot is to keep everybody safe and uh, keep them on target, but I have just as much enjoyment watching these guys having their fun doing it. Well, today, did, Keith did, I gotta say, I was, I was impressed. He's a good shot. Uh, he, shot about, he shot eight coyotes and right around 50 pigs and did a real good job. He probably used the least amount of ammo of any of the people we've had down here. So I, I gotta get him an A plus for shooting. I had a good time doing it. I wanna thank Gary Olson, and he is the Airwolf, that's what they call him. If y'all want more information, you can contact Gary off of our website, or he's on Facebook all the time. Contact him, Gary Olson, he is the Airwolf. My name's Keith Warren, and I wanna thank you for watching The High Road. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.